Okay, what is GPU acceleration? How to enable GPUs in, for instance, CUDA, and how to deploy GPUs. And I believe that those two latter ones are the most important for this case. So I will not talk much about what GPU is. So I will simply look at this one, learn about how to use GPUs at HPC to n Upmax and Lunax, since that is what uh, you need to get going. And uh, you can read through this later if you want to, because uh, it might be interesting and it will give a very quick overview of what the difference are between CPUs and GPUs. But uh, I will go down here to GPUs on Max, HPC to n and Lunax. As I mentioned briefly in the previous session about the batch jobs, there is a difference between how you access the GPUs at the different centers. And that mainly has to do with uh, how the GPUs are installed, what type of GPUs are there and such. So on Upmax, it is uh, so that you don't have GPUs on Rackham, you have to use Snowy. So you add minus capital M snowy to your batch script. You also add minus minus G res each calls GPU and the number of GPUs. I'm actually not sure there are two GPUs on any of cards on any of them now. Can someone from Upmax answer that? You can only use one, right? I'm unsure. No, oh, okay. I I'm ninety five percent sure you can only use one. And uh, then again to use uh, Python modules for machine learning and also other stuff that are compiled for GPUs. Use the Python underscore ML underscore package. There's one for three eleven eight and one for three nine five. And uh, it ends in minus GPU only for each of them. So you need to use that if you are using um, any of those modules. At HPC 2N, uh, it's a very heterogeneous resource. There is a lot of different GPUs and different CPUs as well. Uh, but here is a list of them, of the different types of GPUs and how many cards there are per node. So what you do is that you add this to say you want to use GPUs and then X is the number of cards, which can be any of these numbers. I mean, one up to eight, if you're using A40, for instance, or one or two, if it's a V100 and so on. And uh, if you are only saying this here, it will give you a random GPU, and that may not be what you want, especially not if you want more than two of them. Because if you say three here and it just gives you a random one, then maybe it will fail because there are only two on that one. So you have to also add this constraint here, say minus capital C and the type of GPU, and the types are these ones. So these two lines, how many cards, GPU cards, how many, uh, and sorry, and what type of GPU, so. There's more information about that on this page here, but uh, it's, you only have to add those two lines. So on Lunark, there are NVIDIA A100 GPUs, and there's also NVIDIA A40 GPUs, but those are reserved for interactive graphics on the on-demand system and you shouldn't submit slurm jobs to them. So you wanna use the A100 GPUs. And to do that, you have this uh, partition, minus P, GPU A100, and then also minus minus G res, GPU uh, resources, whatever, equals uh, GPU and one card. You can only pick one. Yeah, I think there are also some with two, actually. But, uh, yeah, there are some with one, some with two. Okay, let's look at one of the examples here then. Numba is uh, installed on HPC 2N and Lunark as a module. Uh, we also need NumPy 
So we are loading the SciPy bundle as we have done before. On Upmax, number is part of the Python ML packages uh, for 3.11.8. So we will use that. And uh, I'm going to use this program here to uh, test with number at list. And it's taken from this place with minor changes. And uh, you can find other examples there. Okay.